Yes, that is the V8 you can hear underneath the bonnet of this M3. It's a brand new 402 brake horsepower 4 litre V8, developing some 400 newton metres of torque. The red zone, well, that starts at 8,400 RPM. This new BMW M3 is the most powerful ever produced. Gone as well is the SMG2 gearbox. For the moment, there's a mechanical six-speed gearbox with the SMG3 expected in 2008. True to reputation, BMW Motorsport has reworked much of the 3 Series Coupe. Only the doors, boot lid, headlamps and brake lights remain unchanged. Every other piece of bodywork has been designed specifically for the M3. In particular, the front bumper and the wings. The M3 is clearly identifiable the moment you lay eyes on it thanks to this inflated bonnet. The sills have been redesigned while this particular model has 18 inch wheels with 19s available as an option. At the rear there is of course the M3 logo as well as an aerodynamic lip on the boot plus a rear diffuser and a double exhaust. The new M3 is so beautiful. The interior is sporty too, but not to the extreme. The signature M colours are found on the steering wheel and the gear lever. The finish is exquisite, while there are a number of customizable options also available. But what makes the M3 unique is the way that the driver can tailor it to his driving style. The EDC button offers three different suspension settings. Press the DSC button and the stability control gets turned off. And then there is the M drive system. You can also choose from three engine maps as well as set the firmness of the steering. But with a car this good, the only real way to put it to the test is in the hands of a racing driver. We called upon Le Mans Series Porsche driver Xavier Pompidou to put the M3 through its paces on the Drua circuit to the west si of Paris. Well, if I was going to change this car to drive it on the track, I'd make the steering a little bit more incisive as you come off the brakes because there's a little bit of understeer there. The front wants to go straight on, which means that you have to slow down, even though the chassis could handle much more. That will make your average driver feel very safe, but when you're on the track, it's not as efficient as it could be. I'd also make the suspension a bit stiffer. You end up with the back sliding, because the chassis moves a lot at the rear, which makes it light, and it doesn't stick to the track as well as it could. There's also so much power that you don't have to press the pedal too hard for the grip to start going. But it's fun to drive you can turn all the drive raids off which is quite rare you can have a lot of fun and it's easy to learn with et ça c'est un vrai véhicule de sport on ne devrait pas avoir toutes ces aides parce qu'au moins quand on amène sur un circuit on peut se faire plaisir et apprendre so it doesn't have many faults the engine is amazing and linear yes but still very efficient however at 1655 kilos this is the heaviest m3 ever and you can feel it and it has that eternal BMW problem, the brakes fade after a few laps on the track, there's no choice but to let them cool down. The ABS kicks in far too early and you have to press the pedal hard. But despite that, we really like the BMW M3 because you can have so much fun driving it.